Hello and welcome to episode 11 of Tap Ninja. Today we'll get our brown belt. We will reach our goal of getting God Eye Elements. I will have a question for you towards the end of the video regarding this because it's at the end of the video that we'll get it. It will make tremendous progress in terms of challenges. In fact, by next episode we'll be done. We'll be completely done. So let's ascend here. Just so I can get this uh, away income increased by 115%. And then I told you that I would do a lot of short ascensions, right? Well, I won't. <laughs> Once again, I'll stretch it and I won't ascend that much. But we'll reach our goal at least to reach that rock, the Godai elements. Okay, so let's uh, make some progress in pack four. Like I said, next episode will be done. And uh, it went pretty well, pretty well. A couple of resets, but overall, not too much of a problem. Looking forward to see the last batch. I think I'm missing the last row you'll see by the end of the video. I think I mentioned last episode that I would make a suggestion for weekly challenges or something along those lines. So I did that suggestion. Let's see if it gets implemented one day. There's a very strong chance that the developer is watching. If you're watching, please write a little comment and say, yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> but yeah, that would be cool. Because uh, uh, after that, next episode, once we're done with challenges, all you're going to see is ascensions and uh, achievements. There might be more space between the episodes. Because challenges like this force me to make videos. Otherwise, all you would see is nothing else than challenges in the video. I could Frankenstein stuff and show you uh, challenges after much after they were done, but it would be complicated. Anyways, Samurai Frenzy. I assume I'm gonna get an achievement here. There's only one reason why I would show you that it would be an achievement. Curve Sword. I'm not so sure what it is about. Maybe it's about how many mobs I killed with my sword? I don't know. Well, oh yeah, we also complete tier seven because last episode we reached tier eight, but we didn't even start it. So we're gonna complete tier seven and start tier eight and test one of the upgrades, the first upgrade to see how weak it is. But is it really that weak? We'll see because remember last episode I said, eh, it doesn't seem very impressive. I had a little trouble with this one. I think I reset twice, but you know what I did at the end? All I did is mash my mouse button. No auto clicker anymore. I just mashed the button and it worked. I wasn't uh, so sure how to do it in a natural way. This one's very natural. There's a rhythm to it if you listen to the sound. There you go. Getting a lot of amber. We are in the four digits. I'm saving it for now. As I've been saying, I intend to use a times 25. I might wait later. Uh, maybe when I reach tens of millions of elixir, I'll do it, I don't know. Oh, I'll make a mistake here. Well, maybe not, it depends. It would be logical if we had enough stars by the end. Oh, I just saw the button reset. Maybe you can respect with the reset button. You see at the top? Anyways, we'll see. If I made a mistake, I did make a mistake. But if we can spend all our stars on every single upgrade, we're fine. And that mistake won't matter. And if not, I'll just hit reset and uh, correct my mistake. I'll show you what this mistake is about. Here, I'm missing the flying key. And I think we're about to ascend. There's this ascension and one more, and I'll need 2.5 million to reach my goal. Let's get our ember and keys, and then three keys plus a flying key is coming. But yeah, let's ascend, okay. And then uh, I'll buy this, more enemies. And this is... Fireflies drop more coins. Now I got 400,000. And I need 2.9 million to reach my goal. So I will ascend at 2.5 million. 
I got a times 5, so it's time to do challenges again. 36 out of 75, I'm gonna do 4 more. So I'm using the knock back once again. It's working really well. When I hit the shield, it knocks the mob back and then I hit him again, no problem. And I take the opportunity to spend the money in between each of the challenges. I have to try again. And as I suspected, there's more shield bearers. It's no surprise I had to try again here. This one is trickier. Need a good timing. And if you look carefully, of course, they uh, vary the distance between the mobs to change the rhythm. How about this one? Looks good, doesn't it? I wasn't joking when I said I don't blink my eyes when I do it. If I blink my eyes, I'll miss something. But those are not bad. At least they don't throw dogs at me anymore. It's been a while. Can you imagine with dogs? Here, I just smashed the button here. Was a bit lucky. Is that it already? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, as usual, a few achievements in a row like this. Oh, I hate those overlays. That's why I asked for... Oh, I made another suggestion. I said, you should put a title. Like a game title when you start a game. So this way you won't see any of those overlays. You see that uh, rainbow firefly is the first time I get it. And I got my brown belt. Amazing. You get to hear about a red belt story. I'll have to improvise one. First, uh, we'll try to get some dye. Uh, I was looking forward to put some brown dye on my character. Unfortunately, I'm going to show you. Well, it's not that bad though. It's more the black belt. Well, it's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is orange, man. So I equipped this. It looks kind of brownish, doesn't it? But it, like, <laughs> that's what I was using when I was uh, not a blue belt yet. That's not what I'm looking for. So I checked again. There's actual brown, and even though it's not called brown. So granite, shield bearers have a chance to drop this color, a small chance. For, I don't know what the odds are. That's what I want, chestnut. So once I finish the challenge pack, next episode, I will wear my brown color. So let's go back to blue for now. But I am now a brown belt. All right. You know what that means, it means Taekwondo story time, so if you don't like those, you can blame the developer. <laughs> uh, but there's always the uh, timestamps if you ever get bored. I'll try to keep it short, although there is a little more meat to my red belt story. Very important moment in my Taekwondo career. Got it in late 1998, same time as I started college. Now in college, I studied law enforcement. It was very intense, very demanding physically and mentally. So I got my national certification to become a coach. It was the right timing because my instructor had to get deployed super fast. It was in the military, in the infantry. So I got my black stripe extremely fast after getting my red belt. In fact, I don't remember doing a test for it. There was only two of us. There was um, a brand new black belt and then I got my black stripe with no test and he left and then we both ran the school it was such a challenge because i was only 17 years old man. 17 years old after six months i took a break and half of 99 i did no taekwondo at all it was too much i had to adapt to the tempo of college especially uh, studying in such an intense field physically and mentally intense, as I said. Then I came back late 99 to get ready for my black belt. I had the honor to train with the Sizen team. So what Sizen is, it's an international organization whose HQ is in Brussels, so the name is in French. 
Comité International du Sport Militaire. It's like in chess. World Chess Federation is FIDE, Fédération Internationale des Échecs. So there's a few international uh, organizations whose name is in French. And there's 140 countries, members. And they're organizing a bunch of competitions, including World Military Championship, okay? So imagine I was training with members of our team in Quebec City, probably among the best Taekwondo practitioners in Quebec City and among the best in the Canadian Armed Forces. And I had the privilege to train with them as a colored belt. They were all advanced black belts. Their expertise and mentorship helped me getting the skills for me to get my black belt. And that will be the subject of our next Taekwondo stories when I get my black belt in this game. All right, let's get back into the into the game, and uh, we're gonna beat this stage here. And I'm about to make my mistake. It's pretty silly, also. See, only the last row to do. Let's see what I'm gonna choose. I'm almost done, right? And then I go. Gold earned in challenges is increased. This makes no sense at all. So I may have to respect unless once again I get enough stars, but I have the feeling that I want, so I may have to respect. No big deal, we do that. So I inserted a little fast forward here or a jump cut, I don't remember, because there was a portion where nothing was happening. I don't know, it was an editing error. What's nice is I can uh, edit the video as I speak, do my voiceover, it's pretty cool. There you go. Now, we're going to finish tier 7. Okay. And I'm going to look at tier 8. Remember how I said last episode? Ah, oh, tier 8 doesn't seem very impressive. It might be strong, but it takes a lot of levels, I believe. I'll show you. So let's finish tier 7. This will give me an achievement. And let's do a little test on the first one. Intelligent population. So I got 344 DCs. I'll buy one. And I reached pretty much 346 DC. So it would seem pathetic, but look, there's a little pixel. That's it. So there's a lot of levels on this. So I suspect that after a while, when you get tons of levels, this could be stronger than I first thought. We'll see over time how it goes. Please let me know in the comment what you think of tier 8. Am I right when I say that over a long period of time it becomes very strong, but it's just not right away? So here we're getting a few achievements in a row, as it happens often in this series. And then we just surpassed the 2.5 million. That's because I had a times five that just finished. I don't know if you saw it. I didn't want to waste it, but now it's time to ascend and get to our goal. And I'm going to increase my multiplier by a million. Let's get educated population and there's our god eye elements and my question will arise unlock the five element upgrade tab five elements okay so my question is going to happen in a second when i click on this there's only three so why do they say five elements when there's only three is it because they're going to be added later or is there something else I need to do to get access to the other elements? So let's take a look at those. First of all, this is just some sort of SP, not SP, <laughs> elixir dump. So we have an elixir dump, a key dump, and a star dump, I guess. But these are really nice. So this one, element of fire, all I'm going to do is you reach certain. Uh, I don't know, objectives in terms of stars and you get to buy elements of fire. But once I'm done with all the challenges, I guess I'll be maxed out here. Unless there's something I don't understand here. So I'm maxed out. Here I'm going to spend all the elixir that I can. And the other one is keys. So you spend keys for the other one. Okay. So that would be an element of win, right? So any spare keys that I have after I'm done for, after I'm done with the challenges, I can spend keys, burn them there. Because I was wondering, what do you do with your keys? Where it seems like it's in Godai elements. 
all right so i reached my goal and that would be it for this episode we're just gonna look at our stats as usual and i don't know how long it's gonna take me to get the black belt but it's getting slower to get achievements although 314 so i need 350 yeah we'll see how it goes it might take a few episodes out of the year pretty sure so that would be it. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.